Coming to you live from the Black Hills of South Dakota. Hello everybody and happy Friday! I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. What happened? What happened? Hello, Pelican Heads, and welcome. <clears throat> uh, I'm losing my voice already. <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome to another uh, Friday live stream. Coming to you from a Forest. No, for, I was going to say Forest City, Iowa, because I don't, I don't even know where I am. Rapid City, North Dakota. And this is what it looks like outside. We have a big, bad storm coming. I mean, our neighbors just left, so I could show you there. Look at that. Look at those menacing clouds coming from the... Is that the north? That's the direction Pelistar, our um, Starlink dish, is pointing towards. So that's probably <clears throat> where they're... Um, oh, we have this uh, traveler here in... Uh, yes, 3.50 p.m. here, where we are buffering a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know, Starlink... Uh, I guess that the more people you have at uh, at your location, the, the slower it gets. But it hasn't been um, 100% reliable. And I'm afraid if we get like a really bad storm, like it looks, we're going to get... We might get some rain fade, fade and I might have to uh, to change to either um, AT&T or T-Mobile, one of the two. And we have uh, Maxine Oliver, hello, uh, Paul Kazanis. Oh, before I forget, happy Canada Day to all our neighbors to the north, uh, especially Dylan Reynolds here in the chat. And, uh, yep, welcome everybody. So glad you all uh, came here on this uh, 4th of July weekend. We see you every single day here at home. Thank you. Azul Maldonado and Jim in DC. Oh, it's showtime. Happy Friday, Robert and Ilya and everyone. Happy Friday to you, Jim. And um, we're going to crack one open today from Montana. And this was a present from uh, Mikey Barbie. You know, I mush docked, uh, mush docked at the, we mush docked at their place a couple of nights ago. And, and he gave me a six pack of which I already drank six, I mean five. <laughs> I sound like I drank six, don't I? Mm, that's a good stuff. Even though it's a hazy, it's a good hazy. Jeffrey Di Bartolo, hey Robert and Il I'm gonna have to take off my glasses for some reason. The older I get now, up close, I cannot read uh, with my glasses on. I need to get glasses soon. Maybe I'll get them here at at one uh, Walmart or something, someplace. <clears throat> I keep thinking it's Saturday because uh, I'm up in Pennsylvania. I usually come up. On Saturdays and today is my wife's Anna's first day of retirement. Well, congratulations to Anna, for sure. Jim Foster, good evening, sir. Uh, Pete Lombardo, good evening. And the RV DJ is here, of course. Uh, Rick Skidmore, hi from West Branch State Park in Northeast Ohio. We are camp host and enjoying everything. Hmm, I'm going to have to go back to Ohio at some point. Oh, the chat is already a... Michelle K is raining in Michigan. Oh, it's it's going to rain here soon. <laughs> Azul Maldonado, we would love to meet you. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll coincide uh, some someplace along the way in the country. Raining here in Northwest Ohio. Did someone, you know, do, 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 do a rain stick or something? It's, rain, it's raining pretty much everywhere. Mm, and I hear the fog has uh, rolled in in San Francisco, California. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. Happy, happy Canada Day to all the Canadians. Oh, Canada. Yes, sir. El Mandalorian, happy Friday. And uh, Folsom, California. Hello, Nathan Hartwig. And Mr. Brody Brody. Hello, Robert and me and Pat. Are here. We love the newsletter. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, I, I gave up on the weekly newsletter, but I'm really trying to do at least a monthly newsletter, you know, 
uh, you know, catch you up a little bit for those of you that like, maybe don't, you know, um, uh, want to know where I am and where I've been up to and this and that. And uh, yeah, this computer is uh, it's still acting up. It seems like some once in a while it it, uh, it tends to overheat. But uh, Lacey from Alaska, hello there. Uh, Gert Mertens, uh, hi Robert, we love following your adventures all the way from the UK. You have inspired my wife and I to do a long road trip across the USA. Best regards. Uh, well, thank you and I hope you enjoy that trip. You know, that that's uh, when I did my first uh, cr cross-country road trip back in 2018. You know, that was, uh, that was a dream come true at the time. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's great to see how... It, this is such a large country with such diverse climates and ecosystems and, uh, and and flora, you know, that you go from one end to the other and it's uh, like right now we are at the beginning of the West. If I drive east of here half an hour, an hour, we're in the Great Plains and there's pretty much, I mean, rolling hills, but there's not a whole lot to see. Now west of here, um, you drive a couple of... Um, hours and you're in the Rockies so it's uh <clears throat> it's, this is this is the spot where the, you, you see that great change of scenery young Dave those clouds look ominous uh, I've been in the Badlands during a heavy thunderstorm it's pretty wild and Dylan Reynolds everybody in the chat happy Canada Day and happy 4th of July yeah 4th of July I'm sure this campground is going to be uh, rocking and rolling for the 4th of July weekend uh, which means I'm probably going to go boondog someplace if it is not too hot. A Bob Blizzard, hi from Jax. And he says, hi. Hey, Robert Hill from Bill and Sherry in Georgia. Georgia. Oh, my mind. Kind of on my mind, you know. Um, Neil Carter, happy 4th of July. You're about to drink number six. Yes, Jim Foster. Thank you for keeping count. And I called my mom, so she should be showing up any minute now. I'm going to reset the chat here, kind of, sort of. Mm. Uh, Laura P. Foot, I'm uh, right in the middle of watching the St. Petersburg video with the scary sunshine bridge. LOL, paused. Um, I really, I really, uh, I really like uh, St. Petersburg. We're going to go back at some point. Forest City, want a bigger country? Well, we're going to Forest City in about two weeks. I forgot to shave today. You know what happened? I ran out of shaving cream and I just went into uh, Safeway to buy some. And it's funny, you know, w whenever I'm in Safeway country, all of a sudden I have my Kroger ca card, uh, you know, handy, my membership. And then when I go to a Kroger, the only one that shows up is the Safeway card. So uh, the, the thing about Publix, you know, they don't have the membership programs or anything like that. But... Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's, uh, what are, you know, first world problems, travelers problems, really. So, uh, uh, Chrysia Vaca from Allentown, Pennsylvania. And uh, Mike Shock, happy Canada Day to you too. I mean, the chat is going insane. Daniel Ruiz, why Robert is starting early? I love to watch you, but I need to be consistent when you start your chats. Did I miss something? Uh, it's a moving target, pretty much. Uh, last week, it was late because we were doing something, you know, but this week, we're like, it's been a work day for the most part. We haven't really done much except work. We, well, actually, we haven't left the, the camper uh, we went to do laundry, and now it looks like that. So we, it doesn't look like we're going to do much. But I figured we'll begin 10 minutes early. You know, I was here and I had nothing better to do than, you know, doing this. So it's, uh, uh, might as well start early, right? Um, and chat with you guys a little longer. And then uh, Neil Carter, it's my 45th birthday on July 4th. Happy birthday to you, and. Uh, do you remember that movie with Tom Cruise, born on the 4th of July? Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Neil Carter. Happy birthday to you. Uh, John Daly from Phoenix. 
And my friend Steven is a huge fan and just set the company record for June selling spring boards. And will you congratulate him and toast with an IPA? Well, cheers, Steven. Another good Montana IPA is Big Sky IPA. The one with the pronghorn antelope on the label. I think we had one of those, didn't we, in Montana? I thought we did. Uh, Karen DeVries, Kitten Beach, things scalloping, was attacked by a shark. Yeah, I heard that story. Very sad. I think she's, she's doing better, but... Uh, yeah, it's just, just such bad luck. I mean, shark attacks are, are, are relatively rare. So when you hear about one, it's, uh, it's a big bummer. Lacey, we have horrible wildfires around the state of Alaska right now. No fireworks for us this year. I don't mind it. Everyone have a safe 4th of July. Well, I'm sorry about those fires. Alaska is such a beautiful state. I hope uh, I hope that's a, you know, temporary. Nice new Devil's Tower shirt. Ah, I'm glad you noticed. And in the back, it has like a big... It's, in the back is... I, I wish I could show you the back. It's... Uh, but yeah, I was there and, uh, you know, usually they don't exploit the alien theme as much. Uh, but uh, they had this, this shirt with the, with the flying saucer and I'm like, I have to get it, you know. If you ever make your way back to Montreal, beer is on me. Thank you and we will make it back to Montreal at some point. I can guarantee you that. Because... Uh, you know, I, 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 we really enjoyed uh, our time in Canada in back in 2013. And then I went back in 2019, but I just did the Victoria Day cruise. But um, but I really do want to... Uh, next year, next year, we're going to try to make it possible and do the, the Alaska trip next year. Oh, man, look at that. That's, that's looking... And I wish I had a, like a wider angle so you could see the extent of those ominous clouds. I mean, that's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> when it, uh, you know, when it comes down, I should check my satellite. Let's see real quick. Oh yeah, we're in trouble, look at that. That's coming, for sure. And what's that warning there? Severe thunderstorm warning. Actually, it might skip us. Actually, we're here. That that storm is just north of us, as I was saying. Because I know I know it's north because the the Starlink usually points slightly to the north, and that's just gonna skirt from us. It's going kind of that way. So uh, yeah, it's not gonna. It, we, we, my, my, my biggest fear with the storm, besides, you know, heavy winds and whatnot, is doing the live stream, I might get some rain fade, and uh, and that's probably why, you know, the Starlink is a little slower right now. A big house in the woods. Can you give a shout out to Wolfgang in, and Georgiana, two homeschool kids here who use your videos as part of their curriculum? Of course, and... Uh, Hi, Wolfgang and Georgiana, and uh, thank you, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you learn a lot. Alaska next year, awesome, yeah, that, that's kind of, you know, I've been wanting to go to Alaska since 2020, 2020 would have been the 10th anniversary of our trip up the Dalton Highway, then 2020 came, you know what happened, 2021 came, not 2022, but 23, I mean, it's an odd number, but we should do it. Um, <clears throat> Oh man, this thing is acting up on me. What's going on here? Christopher Olsen. I love when the sun comes out after heavy rain. Everything is so fresh. Yes, and uh, actually it happened like about a week ago, a little over a week ago, we had like the best perfect uh, rainbow right after a bad thunderstorm. That was uh, in North, was it North Dakota? Mon I think it was Montana, Fort Peck. In New Smyrna Beach, we get uh, shark attacks all the time. 
yeah, I hear that some areas are worse than others. I have never been afraid of swimming in the in the ocean, but let me tell you, <clears throat> a P. Lombardo is that my radar? Yeah, that's the my radar app. That's the one that I use on Android, uh, on iPhone. Our neighbor got a, an Amazon package. I think. Oh, maybe no. Those are the India big party here tomorrow. I think I'm pretty sure. Batten down the hatches. Where's Elon's storm zapping satellites? I'm sure they're coming. I'm sure he's working on those, Jim. It's a, we just have to wait, right? <laughs> Maurice Jennings, love all your videos on your trips. Uh, Hakim Olajun, uh, sorry I joined late. Where are you um, at and um, where are you headed? Well, we are in, in, in Rapid City, uh, South Dakota right now. I'm going to be here for a couple of days. And we're making a, a very big detour back east. We're going we're gonna to cut the Lewis and Clark trip in two separate uh, sec sections. And, um, and we just finished the first section at Three Forks, which is the, the headwaters of the Missouri River. And, uh, and now we have to go back. We're going to the, to the Winnebago National Rally. And there's a good chance that, that we're going to get a new truck soon here. I don't want to jinx it. I will, I'll knock on aluminum and uh, we'll see. Jean Aragon, we visited Devil's Tower last year and we tried to get my son an alien themed shirt, but they were out of his size. He was heartbroken. I can imagine, yeah. Last time I was here, you know, they were kind of. Well, last time I was here, I wore, I wore my alien shirt from, from Roswell which actually I thought was appropriate. But uh, <clears throat> I think at the visitor center, uh, maybe they're getting smarter and, and they're going more with a, with a good publicity that is, you know, major classic movie uh, uh, featuring them. But they were going more with a sacred Native America theme. But uh, I think they're going back to, like, you know, the marketing of, you know, marketing the... The Devil's Tower, you know, with the aliens and all that. And, of course, we stayed at the KUA, and every night they show the movie. We saw a little bit of the movie at the, there, you know, there were a few mosquitoes and whatnot. And, and what did I do? Then I went into Amazon Prime and rented it. And we watched it here in the comfort of the RV. Because why not? <clears throat> Yes, Robert, you should go to Alaska next year. No time like the present, right? We should go to... Yeah, and that's what they did. When they, the, my only thing with Alaska is uh, crossing into Canada with the loaner RV. So if we get a Mini Tini 4 at some point, I'm going to see if I can at least get a registration. You know, something that it makes it easier to export uh, temporarily the trailer into, into Canada and uh, to do the, the crossing. Reming Passion, hello Robert, it's been a wet morning here after a storm. Well, you know, it's uh, it looks like someone shook that old rain stick because it seems to be raining everywhere. Mark says, Sea Hammer, Z Hammer, uh, take your shark repellent if you swim in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yes, come up. Tourism is still a little slow this year. My family and I would love to meet you and grab dinner if you're near Anchorage. We're definitely going to go by Anchorage and Fairbanks and all the... I mean, if we go, we're going to spend at least uh, two months in Alaska, see as much as possible. Mount Mikey, greetings, Robert. It was fun spending time with you guys. Yes, it was. Uh, <clears throat> El Mandalorian, how many people attacked by dogs and gators than sharks? It's the stingray you have to watch out for. Stingray, really? Okay, let me let me uh, reset the chat here. Arnold Groves from... Uh, no, yeah. Gotta get to Astoria next trip then. We'll make it to Astoria, Pat. It's just... Uh, You know what happens? I miscalculate also too, and uh, and since we are taking it slower, 
trying to see more along the way than just, you know, hightailing it all the way. Um, this trip has taken longer than, than, than expected, so. So we're going to cut it in, in half, you know, we're going to better get that Montana sticker on the map. I know I have to, you know, I have a Lewis and Clark sticker on top of Montana right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, today, we're going to do it today. Spam. Are, are you guys getting as much spam as I am? On your phone it's it's bad lately parts of Yellowstone opening tomorrow well that's great news and we were so close to Yellowstone we might go to Yellowstone on the second half of the trip Joe and Marie hi Robert we love watching your videos greetings from Fair Oaks Ranch Texas well greetings cheers hey Mr. CLT who is, who, who is actually traveling thank you for being here and uh, I'm promoting the website um, Mike, the strawberry was delicious. Oh, yeah, Mike, the, yeah, the strawberry. He really, really loved the strawberry. I liked it. I love the two. Every day. Yeah, and we're having a great hazy IPA from from Montana, I believe. Is it from Montana? <laughs> oh, bro, you have to put that, Mon that, that Montana sticker on the map. I was going to do it today, but... Hope you got to visit Columbia River Gorge. It's amazing tour the West Coast along California coast. Then came back. East from Vancouver, Washington to New Jersey and back to Jackson, Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, that's like a boom, 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 square trip. I've seen the Columbia River Gorge, but it was a little bit of a rushed trip back in 2019. So we're going to do it again. Can you see me well? Can you see me well? Yes, you can. Sometimes this camera, like this camera, what I do, when I use both cameras, the resolution kind of drops. But look at, look at those super cells up there. That's a bad storm. It actually, it actually looks darker in, li in real life than in the camera. Let me see something, because I think that camera looks kind of zoomed in for some reason. But look at that. Look, look, look at the way it looks out there. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. It's just, it's just the camera. It's, uh, it's acting up. I guess we don't have enough uh, bus uh, bandwidth to be able to, to maintain. Uh, and by the way, Sarah Roman, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Ko, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for breaking the ice. Thank you for that super sticker. Um, Dylan Reynolds question I'm wondering why you're taking a detour well I want to go to the Wanabago Grand National Rally that's always a lot of fun and um, uh, my new truck is on a train going from Mexico to South Carolina it's going to arrive in a couple of weeks and then I still have to go back to Pelican to get a shed on top of Minitini 3 I mean Minitini 1 and uh, yeah and what I'm going to do is sometime in early August, we're going to hightail it. I mean, it's going to be such so expensive, but it is what it is. I'm going to have to hightail it back to the West Coast and finish the trip. I might take my mom with me as well. Uh, I, everybody, by the way, my mom, everybody say hello to my mom. Hi, everybody. The storm is coming here in Miami. It's very hot. I hope you have a better climate. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy 4th. Happy July the 4th. Love, Mom. Cheers. Everybody say hello to my mom. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice today. That's one of the IPA cans I sent with you. I know, I know. And it's really good. It looks like some storms headed your way. Stay safe. By the way, what do you do if bad storms come? Well, if there's like a tornado warning or tornado, yeah, we will find. I mean, the bathhouse is it's a minute run from us, so we'll just run to the bathhouse. If if we get like a like a confirmed cell coming our way, but if it is just like a bad storm, we'll just ride it out. I mean. 
What camera do you use outside? It's actually both cameras are inside, but this, for some reason, this one is not getting the same quality as the one inside. But uh, they're both Logitech. Uh, I think one is the 910, one is the 920. They're very similar. Um, Yellowstone is also lifting the odd even license plate restrictions tomorrow. Both northern entrance tests are still closed. Though. Yeah, I know. And that's the entrance that I wanted to take. Part of my plan was to, to take the Bear Tooth Highway and go in through Lamar Valley, which is... That, that, that's one of my favorite parts besides the obvious, you know, um, the, you know, Geyser Basin and... Uh, and uh, what's the other? No, not Mammoth Springs. Uh, Grand Prismatic spring which is out of this world and nathan hartwig thank you for that super chat some gas money from Folsom, california suggestion if you go to california and have time coloma coloma is the town of gold discovery site in california on highway 49 definitely we're gonna spend some time in california late so late uh, summer maybe even early spring i wanted to time it so we didn't arrive in california during what they call Fogust, <clears throat> which is when you get all the, you know, the marine layer and the coast, but it looks like we're going to get to California during Fogust. What can you do? Pat Smith, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you. Hiya. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. How much are gas prices? I know this question was going to come sooner or later. Gas prices in South Dakota out there, Robert, is 521 here in Michigan. It's about. It's, I've seen four. I've seen uh, down to four sixty something, but that may be with a membership. I, I had a full tank, so I couldn't. Uh, I didn't fill up. It's it's probably four eighty nine, four eighty four for the most part, in the middle of nowhere. You know, like near Devil's Tower. It is more like I, I think we paid five five ten or five oh five. It's just, uh, besides Illinois, the, the most we've, we've spent. So, would you visit Cape Cod or Martha's Vineyard someday when we go back to the Northeast? Absolutely, that's part of, that's in the, on the list. You know, on every trip, you cannot visit every single place because you have to save, some, save something for the next trip, right? That's what I usually say. <clears throat> and Mark Wood, AAA, should support you as your videos are well descriptive of any places you visit. I've traveled much. Too, so I can appreciate your efforts, almost like news coverage. So thank you. I'm glad you 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 enjoy that, and uh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind the AAA uh, being a sponsor. <clears throat> Hi. Last time I was in Winnebago was 1987. Um, 1987. That's the year I left uh, the land of my birth, Cuba. 1987. It's uh, I was 16. It's been a while. Um, have you ever had to run to a bathhouse because of a tornado? I would hope campground will notify everyone. I don't think they do. Last time we had a little bit of a scare. I was with mom. We were in, in James Island uh, County Park. And we just got, you know, nowadays we get a notification on the phone. So, um, and Roxy, rocking Roxy, thank you for that super chat. I can't wait to see your new truck. Safe travels to you both. I can't wait either. I mean, the, the Colorado is doing great. It's running great. Um, but it's got 121,000 miles. So uh, it's, it's getting to that point that it is reliable. And as long as there are highway miles, it doesn't really matter all that much. But, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm afraid that you know, someday in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to have a problem, so. And it is not an inexpensive proposition to buy a new truck. I think I'm getting a deal, but still. Joan Marie Gagnon, thank you for that super chat. Have you ever had to run to a bathhouse because... Is there a glitch in the Matrix? I already read that one, didn't I? <laughs> um... I did read that one. Never mind. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Neem Tarar. Hello from... Ili is laughing too, so... Uh, hello from Pac 
Pakistan. Hello, Paki. Good morning, Pakistan. How's it going? I hope you are having the best time of your life in your RV. Stay safe and blessed. I'm not complaining, man. I'm not complaining. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's definitely uh, sometimes it is easy to take it for granted, but it is not. You know, I I enjoy so much being able to see the the country and seeing so many uh, you know important landmarks and being able to share it with you. You know, that, that that's that's part of the, my calling. Uh, making you know these videos, these movies. I wish I had more time to edit. I wish editing didn't take as as much time. I would love to to publish a, a one hour, two hour movie every a single week because I do have the footage. The, you know, the going places and taking the video is the easy part. Editing is what takes long. <clears throat> Sorry, T. I like your videos. They make me feel like I'm traveling the country. Thank you. You're welcome. That, that's the that's the point. That's what I try to do, and I enjoy doing it tremendously. Uh, Dylan Reynolds question: I'm wondering if the rest of the Lewis and Clark trip could be done in the fall of this year, or in the spring of next year, or in 2024. I'm gonna try to finish it this year. Um, at least that's that last leg through uh, through Idaho and Oregon. That shouldn't take more than a month even less. So that's going to be like the second half of August, um, I'm predicting here. Um, a new truck with Mini Tini 4 or Mini Tini 1 in Alaska is a good combination. And this is the thing with the new truck, I mean, I want something with four-wheel drive, 4x4, four four, because I want to I wanna start, you know, taking at, at, at least for the next year or two, taking some adventures out farther, you know, in the middle of nowhere. I would even consider like putting a small truck camper on that truck temporarily for some of those trips. Gonna go like really out there. We have we have Starlink, which will work pretty much anywhere. Although I think the the the, the quality of Starlink has degraded a, a little bit. Maybe because so many people have it now, the satellites are a little more uh, overwhelmed with the data. I don't know, but it's not as good. It's it's not as good as it was uh, uh, two months ago. Uh, Brandy Williams, thank you for that super chat. Hi, Robert. Is uh, is Sacagawea Historical State Park in Washington State on your itinerary? It's a Lewis and Clark site and confluence of the Snake and Columbia Rivers. Yes, uh, we haven't made it there yet. And by the way, it's, it's a, a west of the Dakotas. They call her Sacagawea in the Dakotas. In, in North Dakota, particularly, is spelled Sakakawea, but they pronounce it Sakagawea. It's very confusing. I had to ask uh, the, the ranger, very knowledge, knowledgeable lady at Fort Mandan, and that's the explanation that she gave me, that it's, you know, it, apparently Lewis, Meriwether Lewis or Clark, what are they, they spelled it with a G. So. Uh, coming to East Coast Canada anytime soon. Uh, not this year for sure. I doubt it very much. Did you hear that? We've got thunder. Yeah, but that's not coming. You see, it's already clearing. Look, 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 look at the west. The west is, is clearing up. It's just that those clouds and our neighbors there, those clouds are just moving from west to east, north of us, just skirting, you know. I don't think it's gonna. It's gonna. Not yet. There's another. There's another uh, cell. A little farther west. Let me refresh my. Yeah, you see. This one here. Where are we here on the map? Here. So we're here. That other cell coming from the west. That has a good chance to hit us. But the one just, you know, just, just scraped. Just scraped us in the north. <clears throat> Sky, De Sky Deeds. Hi, Robert. Can you sing happy birthday to our song, Joe? Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. 
Good idea to change the truck before you run into an old Kia story. I mean, I think the Colorado still has another hundred miles, another hundred thousand miles on her. But uh, I mean, I have this. Uh, I might be able to get a pretty good deal considering how things are going right now. And I'm gonna get a slightly larger truck and four by four and. Uh, Uh, Pat Smith, you helped me in your travels. I have terminal cancer, but I so enjoy traveling along with you. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I hope uh, for a miracle for you. And um, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm, I'm, you're able to enjoy uh, my travels. and uh, Travel with me, yeah. Jim in DC. I took the Lewis and Clark a couple of years. It took Lewis and Clark a couple of years. You're under no time pressure. No, I'm, I mean, it's... Uh, I was, originally. I wanted to do, like, the whole thing in one shot. And I'm like, you know, it, it, if they do... If, if, they, if they spend the whole winter at Fort Mandan, and before that, another whole winter uh, across the river from St. Louis, I can take a month, a couple months off, right? And uh, what I did, you know, I... I stopped when I had the Rockies in sight. I saw the Rockies, and uh, and then I decided to turn back. <laughs> so, um, I think it is cold. Yeah, our neighbors are there having a. Nice picnic. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Traveling Robert, what's for dinner? I don't know. Does anybody know a good brewery or a good restaurant here in, in, in Rapid City? Because, I, I mean, it's going to rain. I was going to uh, grill something, but I don't feel like cooking. So if you, if anybody, if anybody knows a good spot here in Rapid City, let me know. When are you going to Big Bend National Park? If you're in the area, let me know. Laredo, maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking sometime on the on the way to Quartzsite or on the way back from Quartzsite. I mean, Big Bend has been on the bucket list for such a long time. And the thing with Big Bend is kind of out of the way. So, are you going to the Hershey Show this year? I don't know yet. I want to go, but then again, uh, there's a part of me that uh, if I'm gonna be out west, I don't know if I wanna drive cross country to the Hershey Irvish show and then come back west for the balloon fiesta. It all depends on many things that I don't have confirmation on yet. So mm -hmm. from Paul Matvish uh, Monday is my wife's birthday. She will be 40 ish. Again, we met we met you in Cincy. Give her a shout, Christina. Uh, well, happy birthday, Christina, on Monday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Are you getting a Ford F-150? No, I'm getting a silver Silverado Trail bus. How many state maps have you filled with stickers? Well, this, this will be the, be the third one. And, uh, and as I've said before, you know, Minitini 1, the map is pretty much done. I haven't visited every single state with Minitini 1, the original one. But uh, between the three uh, trailers that I've had, I've visited every single state except uh, Alaska. Now, so, uh, Douglas Brehm. Robert, your travels are going good. Uh, hope your travels are going good, Robert. Uh, all the roommates in the house get together to watch you on Sundays. Well, thank you. And um, this Sunday, we're going back to Florida. I think our neighbors are going back inside because... Look at, look at, look at, look at the... I think we're getting wind coming. And yeah, they're going back inside. I don't think rain is going to fall, but look look at those clouds. I mean, doesn't doesn't look all that promising. In any case, <clears throat> I keep getting distracted. Les and Heidi Hefner... 
I ordered Starlink. Are you using it now? They're telling me 2023 until I get mine. I thought the delay, also the satellites weren't overwhelmed. Probably right now it's not working as, as good as it was working two months ago. Or, you know, when I first started watch, using it, I was getting over 100 down and maybe 10 up. Over here, I didn't get more than like 15 down. And I mean, I, I've done live streams with one up, one and a half up. It's just not as good quality. Right now, I'm getting like 10 up with uh, with, with Starlink. I don't know if I should do a speed test. Okay, here it is, the, the last speed test that I did. Let me see if I can show you guys this. This I did right before the live stream. Right before the live stream. And uh, there it is. 50, 90 down and 10 up. Which is not bad, but it's not great either. I mean, the, the, the up is what's important to me while I'm doing the, the live stream. And 10 up is more than enough. Okay, I reset the chat and I'm gonna go back. Uh, Les and Heidi have, and we have the same weather station. I mean, I don't think it's like the, the most super accurate weather station back here, but it's not bad. Yeah, humidity 32. Go to Devil's Tower if you get a chance. Great campground just outside of Park. Well, I just did. I came from Devil's Tower. And uh, if you follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, I got some great pictures. Thank you, Carrie Cisneros, for that super chat. Thank you so much. Do you live in an RV full-time? No, I don't. I, I live part-time. Live part we still have a home base back in Miami, Florida. And uh, and anyway, it, it would be uh, um, it would void the warranty on the Winnebago. By the way, Winnebagos are not designed for full time living, so um, you're not supposed to uh, full time in these rigs. And uh, El Mandalorian having pollo guisado with white rice while enjoying the live chat. I think he is hungry, but when she, when she heard pollo guisado, she was like. <gasps> No, she, she's been craving Cuban food. There's no Cuban food out here. She's been craving croquetas and tamales and uh, like all the Cuban food that, you know. We had some great beef yesterday. Some beef we bought in Montana. Uh, I cooked it yesterday and it was amazing. <clears throat> this is good beer. <clears throat> I have to clear my... Oh, I got a Patreon message from Michael Dune. Would would love to visit Mount Rushmore. Yeah, uh, that's where we were yesterday. We yesterday we visited Mount Rushmore, and we're probably gonna go back. I wanna go back at night, see it illuminated. So we'll see. We're gonna be in this area for for a few oh, days. Oh wow! Yeah, the trailer just moved. Hopefully, hope, hopefully, Pelly Star doesn't fall off the. Yeah, we're getting very, very heavy winds here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that tree over there on the other side. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't really see it. I don't, don't want to I, I show my, my neighbors, like, in their face, you know, because privacy concerns. And this camera, the resolution is really bad. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, it's it is windy out there. So if if I start buffering, you know, why you know it's a, we might get some even some rain fade. I would say gusts of forty miles an hour, probably fifty. Caris is narrows. Thank you for that super sticker. Thank you. You are amazing. Thank you. I'm amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man. And uh, Natalie Driscoll focusing. Where do you mount your outside receiver on your weather station? It's on the rear bumper between the spare tire and the actual, 
fuselage of the of the rig because you're supposed to mount it at a place where it doesn't get too hot or it doesn't get direct sunlight and that back there to me seemed like the like the <clears throat> most uh, suitable yeah we were like Ooh, you, you, even you know you 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 feel it the rig Our second and third presidents, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, died on the same July 4th. Really, I didn't know that. Jim, you are full of uh, fun. I mean, not <laughs> that fun. But, um, you know, interesting trivia. And uh, I don't want to make a recommendation. If you want to... Uh, I learned so much about the history of uh, that era. From the, there's this miniseries. I, I don't know if it's HBO or it's look it up. It's 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 called John Adams, but it, be, it I mean it tells the the life story of John Adams, but it's really the the history of of the the Revolutionary War and the beginning. You know the the the, the, the very founding of the United States. You know you see all the the, the founding fathers depicted. You see. Uh, oh, Benjamin Franklin, you could tell he had a lot of fun when he was uh, the French ambassador, uh, on the, the American ambassador to France. I mean, it's a, it's a good miniseries if you, if you want to relieve the, relieve the, the founding of our nation. Um, Mount Mikey, is that, uh, see if you can make it. The Stradable, I told you about Stradable Rim Trail is on Google Maps. It's just a short distance from you. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna look it up. Not right now because I mean it's still actually on camera. It the, the camera does not do it justice. There you go. That's more like it. Look at this. Look at the sky. <clears throat> Have you traveled to the West Coast? I've done several sec sections of the West Coast. In fact, I've probably done most of the West Coast. I did the Pacific Coast Highway from from LA to San Francisco once. I've done, and then I've done San Francisco all the way to to Cape Flattery, pretty much. So, Pat Smith, please be careful, Robert. That sky is scary. Yeah, it is. It is, it is uh, pretty bad. But I think you better head for that shed. No, we're we're good. We're, I think we're still good. Looks like funnel clouds there. Uh, we'll be monitoring. You and really stay safe. Robert, have you checked outside this? It looks like a twister is in the works, really. I mean, it's windy for sure. Oh, God, it's really windy. Yeah, the trailer just moved again. Yeah, okay. it moved a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's very windy out there. No, I'm just gonna let, let, let me. It's just north of us, but there's there's a severe thunderstorm, but the we, we don't we don't have a a tornado uh, watch or warning yet. So I'm gonna keep going. It's raining a little. We, we might get some hail. You know this that storm is just skirting north of us. It's just skirting north of us. It's crazy. Let me see if I can show you guys on my phone here. But uh you see that that big cell just it's just past us, north of us. There's another cell forming just west of us, just northwest of us. So I don't know. We'll keep monitoring, but Look at the hammock <laughs> in that cabin across from us. He's telling me to continue talking to you guys. <laughs> um, um, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Tony5006, thank you for that super chat. A drink for you and Ely or the truck, your choice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And uh, Chelsea Kittens, uh, thank you for that super chat. And I'm both in sterling pounds. Hey, we got we got uh, the, the UK in the house today. 
Uh, hi, please, can you wish my fiance a happy 50th birthday? We love following you. Your adventures. Send me best wishes from the UK. Well, hi, uh, what's his name? Chelsea? Well, happy birthday, Chelsea's fiance. Happy birthday to you. Man, that rain is really coming down. I, I hope you guys, I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's, uh, yeah, we finally got caught in the rain. Let me. Yeah, we'll be monitoring the weather. I think, um, I don't feel anything, anything bad coming from the west. So, um, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you come downtown Rapid City, check out Main Street Square. I used to work there. I helped open it up in 2011. Is that where they have all the statues of all the presidents, like in every corner? Uh, I, we might stop by there tomorrow. Let me finish this beer, just in case we have to make a run for it. Because, uh, I mean, we're, we're used to bad weather in the sense, I mean, this is a, this is every other August afternoon in South Florida, but still, it's uh, this is the, the beginning of the Midwest, and it could be scary. So we'll, we'll be monitoring if there's like a, a, like a tornado watch will be, you know, Steve Lloyd, hello from Savannah, Save Travels. I was just editing the part of the video where you come out. Mm. Rapid City suggestion, Dinosaur Park on the hill overlooking the city. Seven life-sized dino statues originally put in 1936. Very cool. I think we passed by there yesterday on our way to Mount Rushmore, but uh, yeah, we're definitely going to stop by. Man, those trail box trucks are awesome. I really hope so. I really hope so. I, I mean, I've never driven anything that big, like regularly. But I think I'm going to like it. I really hope so because the, 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 the idea, you know, is take some of those off-road trails out west that you can only take with a 4x4 and, you know, get out there, you know, and see nature. Main Street Square is... Just a one acre park that has fountains and ice skating ring in winter. The presidents are all throughout downtown. That's the City of Presidents brochure. I'm gonna check it out. Can you still run after six beers? Well, I've only had one, so Robert is there, is the best farm stand. Robert is here is the best farm stand ever. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. And uh, and the owners are great guys. And, uh, and yeah, the, the, you know, so many exotic fruit that they have there. Uh, Adventures of Bill and Libby. I've seen serious hail there in that area. Where did we have the, the really bad hail a couple of weeks ago? I, I keep forgetting. And Mikey, Barbie says hi to. Hi, Barbie. Uh, Valeria Pelli, we're heading to the Keys at the end of July and spending two nights at the Miami Everglades RV Park. Gonna be hot. That's a great RV resort, by the way. They have a round swimming pool. Dylan Rain of the Rain could actually be relaxing at times. Yes, it can. It can at night and you want to fall asleep. Yeah. And you see, it's gone. It's almost gone. It's starting to calm down now. Actually, the Colorado needed a good car wash, so... Hey, Christopher Olson, take care all. I'm off to bed almost 1 a.m. here in Sweden. See you next Friday. See you next Friday. Which, uh, by the way, next Friday, where are we going to be at? Still here? No. Your birthday. My birthday is next Friday? No. Yes. It is? Yes. Yes, my birthday is next Friday. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be still... In this general neighborhood. 
I didn't realize my birthday was next Friday. I kind of don't like 51. It feels like an odd prime number. You know, it's like 50 was such a round, like, great number. 51 is kind of like... But, hey, <clears throat> I'm not complaining. At least, you know, it's it. I'm not complaining. 50 is the new 30, like they say, right? I don't know why I'm getting... Maybe I'm getting be, becoming allergic to beer. That would suck. I would have to switch to, like, something else. A Texas Gulp. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Kelly and I, Karen, enjoy a relaxing Friday evening with you and all the viewers and your videos. Safe travels. No, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, Lacey, too bad we, you couldn't send the rain up here. Uh, we're getting some monsoons here in Phoenix, but it's hardly any rain and lots of heat. Talk about Phoenix. Has anybody heard from Neon Pony? We haven't seen Neon Pony yeah, yeah. in a couple of weeks. Hmm, I wonder what happened. A Ross on the road. Uh, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, everybody in the chat will have to sing happy birthday to Robert next week. Hmm. Maybe maybe I'll, we will do a... Uh, a stream yard and have everybody on screen and oh, <laughs> uh, traveling robot, how about a mini titty for your birthday? I do know I don't think I brought all the equipment to make it sound good, but it's not a bad idea. I could do it from right here, I could do it from outside. Maybe we can go to the Badlands and go to the Badlands where we're oh, sorry, where we won't bother anybody. And do a mini tiny lounge from the Badlands. We'll see. Thank you, Andrew Barley, for that super chat. Hey, Robert, not long time known here. What was the name of that RV campground in between Richmond and Fredericksburg? Safe travels between Richmond and Fredericksburg. Let me get back to you. Let me circle back. Like this thing. Let me circle back to you on that one. I don't remember right now. Carol, whom I enjoy, 51 is 72, that sucks. Well, you know, with, 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 with God permitting, I'll make it there too. So, hey, um, right now it's just my eyesight and my knees. We'll see. Uh, we'll see, you know. Uh, um, anywho, it's going to be a washout tomorrow here in New England. Uh, I agree, Jeffrey. I'd kill to be 50 again. Well, there you go. Steve Gimbling, my glasses guy. Great white shark spotted near beaches in Cape Cod. Are there any sharks where you are? I'm in South Dakota. Unless they are like freshwater sharks. I doubt it very much. Hey, Jackie Trujillo. Hello there. And J5729, thank you for that super chat. Happy birthday, Robert. We'll be heading out on our way to Yellowstone next Friday, so we'll miss the party. Hey, enjoy Yellowstone, the parts that are a... Uh, the parts that are open. Wasn't that a Yellow, Jellystone Park? Well, Jellystone was in... in uh, I'm sorry, I get easily distracted. Our neighbors are doing something there. Um... I think Jellystone was farther south, wasn't it? I don't know. Don Barrett Walsh, joining late. Where are you? Can't can can't keep up with your travels. Well, the the the, the, the best way to keep up if if you become a a member or a patron because I do almost I've been whenever I visit a a. Uh, <clears throat> A landmark, you know, I do a, what I call a pelican head update, which is a, which is, is nearly live video. I just shoot a video with my phone, I upload it as soon as I can and publish it. So you know exactly where I am, you know, my videos are two months behind at this point. And then if you follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, I sometimes I do day off, but usually one or two days behind. And uh, if you follow the, the regular YouTube, a... Yeah, that's uh, that's two months behind. So, in, in regular YouTube, I'm in Florida. That's the video that is coming out this Sunday, 
Florida coast to coast, the beginning of this trip actually is coming out this Sunday. Jellystone was in the cartoon with Yogi Bear, yeah, and that's also the name of uh, of, a, of a you know of a chain of of RV resorts now owned by Sun Outdoors, and they're called uh, Jelly, uh, Yogi Bear Jellystone. Land, land sharks only. That's actually a also a beer, right? South Dakota was great. Uh, yeah, it is a great. It, it is a, a, the natural beauty, uh, especially the western part of South Dakota is. Uh, it's it's very it's very beautiful. Rust on the road. Thank you for that. If I could only click on the thing. Super chat. Thank you so much. Hey Robert, I'm a new start with just over one thousand subscribers. Wish me luck. Any tips? Um. Well, you know, commenting on my channel is a, is it's a good way to. To, to everybody, everybody go to Russ on the Road uh, channel right now and check him out. And if you like him, you know, subscribe and hit the bell. I think that, that, that that's the best five dollars you, you've ever spent, Russ. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Absolute patriot. Hey, Robert, we're heading to Portland, Oregon to drop our daughter off to Lewis and Clark. Appropriate in August. Any good recommendations? To visit during our week there. I haven't been to Portland, believe it or not, but it's just pouring down. I'm, I'm sorry that camera doesn't have a, as much resolution, but yeah, it's uh, Daniel Arana's question Where am I going to see your Pelican Head updates? The only way to see Pelican Head updates is uh, if you become a member. There, there should be a button right below the video that says Join. And I'm back. I'm back, everybody. Uh, that was a glitch. That was a big glitch, but I think we're back. Uh, I had to switch. A, I had to switch a networks because that's the one problem with Starlink. It doesn't like trees, and it doesn't like like heavy rains. Uh, but luckily, I have belts and suspenders here. Lee Bywater celebrating seven months of becoming an executive, executive, but not only a chief Pelican head, but executive producer. Thank you so much. You missed the one before. Ross on the Road became a... Ross on the Road. Producer. Oh, thank you, Ross on the Road. Thank you for becoming an executive producer. And uh, <clears throat> now I have to update my, my outro. Thank you so much. Uh, Mike, he's buffering from rain fade on Starlink. Luckily, I, I switched to to T-Mobile. T-Mobile seems to be working fine now. And Mark Z Hammer, thank you for that super chat. Uh, thanks for the happy hour. Great content. Be well, Shark. Cheers. Cheers. And we're back. There's a glitch in the Matrix. But did you see the deja vu? You know, this chat is going so long that I should have a second beer. You think my mom will mind? It is going to get me another beer. Because, uh, you know, um, send the notice to, to the affiliates. We're going long. We're going long. No, not that one. Actually, we'll grab this one. Philosopher King in the Appeal Ale from, uh, from Arkansas. Where did I get this one? Someone gave this one to me because we have not been to Arkansas on this trip. Oh yeah. Mira la Yubica Richie Ray. Music from the 70s. Would that be rain drops keep falling on my head? Yeah, rain fade is, a, is totally a thing. With satellite and that's it's very weak point and kind of disappointing that a uh, It's, it's not, it cannot be your primary source of internet, uh, Starlink. Starlink would have to be a backup. And I'm sorry, only 226 of you stuck around through the buffering because we picked at almost, uh, almost 500. 355. 355 says 226 here. For, 353. 353 says, no, I, I, 
for some reason this has two different concurrent viewers, uh, I don't know. Larry Johnson, I asked your advice back when you were at 25k about my channel. Just wanted to say thanks. I changed my content and growing, so thanks. Hey, congratulations and anything anything I can do to help anybody. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Uh, the, you know, coming to Salt Lake this trip, Robert. Um, no, Bill. Um, Bill. Uh, not not Salt Lake. It's not in the plan. But I want, to. I want to, but it's not in the plan. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back to, to Salt Lake. <clears throat> I mean, there's a small chance because I was talking to mom, and mom has never taken a cross country trip, and she has never really seen the mid in the middle of the country. So I was thinking of, you know, taking her like a, on like a two week trip west. To see my godmother, and then she could fly back and just show her the highlights, you know. Show her the the the, the big highlights uh, along the way, like <clears throat> at, at least drive on I seventy through the Rockies, and maybe Arches National Park, and maybe go down to the North Rim of the Grand Canyon, and maybe the Sierra Nevada, and then eventually LA. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, 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 absolute Patriots is, is was buffering here as well. My husband recently purchased Starlink for RV travels. I shall tell him know your opinion. Yeah, I don't think you should. It shouldn't be your only source of internet. And uh, I understand if 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 we're gonna live this lifestyle. Which is very rewarding, of course. We, if, if, if we're going to work independently from the road, we need reliable internet. That's important. And uh, and it can be an expensive proposition. It's not your your you know forty dollar internet at home. You know, you Starlink is one thirty five, and uh, I, I hear. Uh, internet on the go is a good option. They give you, the, I mean, they don't give you. You have to buy that Pep Wave router that is nine hundred dollars, and you get then a Verizon and an AT and T card with forty gig, forty gigs each. I think that's what Mike and Jen uh, of RV Lifestyle use, and that's a good one too. It's it's also a hundred and thirty so. And then what I have, what I'm using right now, which is, you need a truly uh, unlimited internet if you're going to be broadcasting like I'm doing. Otherwise, it'll become even more expensive. Uh, ISP Mint is what I'm using right now. It is, it's over $100 as well. So, uh, talking your mom to a, taking your mom to a West trip would be awesome. I'm thinking about it, you know, she, she's been at home and uh, she hasn't taken any trips in a long time. So, um, I'm trying to, if, if I'm going to go back to Florida anyway, um, we, maybe we can do a cross-country trip together, she can fly back from LA, Ely can fly to LA and then we come back and join Lewis and Clark somewhere in western Montana I mean, I'm just, this is like written in jello at this point, Arnold Grubbs, thank you for that super chat a little help for, a little help for gas, for your travels been following for about 3 years now, great stuff, thank you so much, thank you, I really appreciate it and uh and I'm, I'm getting some real good content uh, coming up uh, soon here on the channel. I, uh, this trip has been has been great. Uh, regarding Starlink from Jason John Mason Smith, uh, if we were camping, we are in the shade. It's kind of the point. Yeah, if you have a tree on top of you, it's not gonna work. Uh, Sunny 74, the Tesla campers at Dash Point had full hookups, so charging the car was not a problem. The campers near Rainier, well, that was unserviced camping, not sure they just, what? Oh, because you guys are talking, uh, never mind. <laughs> I had no idea what you were talking about. We get 150 gigs on Verizon for 100 bucks a month. You see, I go, I... I would use 150 gigs. I would use 150 gigs. 
I haven't checked, but I probably do. Every one of my videos is 10, 15. It depends how... how, how uh, so that's 40 or 50 right there. And then there's the live streams. And then, you know, we want to watch Netflix from time to time as well. So, um, yeah, we definitely have to uh, reassess the internet. Right now, I have belts and suspenders. We cannot afford to be without internet. Ely has to work, and I have to do this. But at some point, we have to see what we do. I feel sorry for Robert with Starlink wigging out. Yes, Starlink, when it works great, it works great, but... As you saw, with a little bit of rain, it's uh, uh, right now. Uh, this is T-Mobile going through a uh, through a MIMO antenna, so it's T-Mobile the best it can be. We're in a major metropolitan area, you know, uh, Rapid City, South South Dakota. Uh, uh, sometimes in the middle of nowhere, like next week, maybe we'll do the live stream from the Badlands. We're gonna, you know, need Starlink. And uh, <clears throat> why am I losing my voice? Uh, love the ability to stop on the side of the road and catch some eats and a cocktail. We're going to rent an RV before making the leap to purchase. Yeah, that's what we did. And uh, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You're getting an RV after you rent one. <laughs> we did. Vagando everywhere por todos lados. So it stopped working, the stream. Yeah, it. Uh, we had a... We were, we were out for a couple of minutes. I bet it's the clouds blocking the signal. I don't think it's as much the clouds as the rain itself. And this happens with satellite TV as well. It's uh, it's called rain fade. It's, it's, uh, it's known. It's, it's a known issue. So, um, yeah. It happens... Uh, Diego Soldano, my family and I have been on vacation since June 10th. We started Southern California. We went all the way to Maine to see our Acadia National Park. Was hoping to see you on the trip. Love your channel. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, and um, I have to go back to Acadia. That 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 trip. By the way, outside it looks much better now. That trip I wasn't fair to to the Northeast. That's the trip where old Kia broke down, the trip that was going to be two months, and it was two weeks. So um, there's always something new around the corner for coverage. Remember the dial-up days? Yep. You know, I kept... <laughs> little fun fact. I kept an old AOL account for a very long time, even after I had broadband, because sometimes you would get to a hotel and you could still plug in that, you know, uh, RJ12 uh, plug, you know, twisted pair into your modem and get at least dial-up. And we're talking about early 2000s. We're talking 2000, I remember doing it in 2005. You know, we already had broadband and I still kept an AOL account because you could still do beep, 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 you know what I mean. And everybody, hugs and blessings from my mom. Uh, all right, everybody. I think I'm going to start wrapping this up. It's 5 or 7 p.m. here. I think Ely is hungry. Does anybody know a good place where I could take her here in the Rapid City area? Let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to cook something or maybe we'll do a Google search. I still have an AIM email account, LOL. No, I, I think my at AOL.com account. Actually, I, I, was, I, I, I was with AOL from the beginning, so I actually had Morales R at AOL.com at some point back in the day. I think I lost that one uh, years ago. Because back then, email wasn't as important as it is today, right? Robert, instead of driving the way back to Florida, wouldn't it be easier to put Minitini in an RV storage and fly to Florida? Then you can fly back and continue the journey. Yes, and uh, no, I, 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 I need to make it with... 
I need to drive at least all the way to South Carolina because that's where I'm trading in the Colorado for the new truck. And if I'm going to drive all the way to South Carolina, might as well, right? Anthony Jennings, you inspired me to get an RV and travel. And thanks to you, thanks to you, I found the courage to actually do it. So I'm glad I did traveling. I did. Traveling the world has been a life-changing, transformative experience. And I believe you, yeah. You, know, you, um, you don't realize. You don't realize uh, how... Uh, what, what a what a fulfilling experience it is to be able to travel, see different people. See it for yourself, not what they tell you, but see it for yourself with your own eyes. Meet the people and... Uh, and, uh, you know, experience the culture, eat the different foods at different parts of the country. And, you yeah, there's some areas that I haven't liked, but I try to keep a positive attitude. And, just you know, the, the ones that I like, you know when I like something, when I like it. So um, <clears throat> the AOL installation CDs made your Internet experience complete. Yeah, right. I still have, actually, actually I think in the closet behind the... Uh, behind the, the Flagami studio. There's a closet back there with all kinds of memorabilia. And I do believe I still have, not the CD. I predate the CD. I have an AOL floppy disk for DOS 6.0 somewhere back there. Eddie Negrete, traveling rubber, inspired me to vacation in Miami, Florida my, my, with my family. Well, enjoy my Miami, Florida. We're gonna go back there at some point. Traffic is horrible, but yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice city. Uh, definitely unique. Um, should we go back to to Starlink or should we stay with T-Mobile? Jacqueline Gardner, it's hard to break away. Mm. I loved our 19 uh, looks okay look at the pick in the chat now I think it was last week you mentioned how you might start your chat at 7 p it was last week yeah but this week we happen to we happen to be here and we were able to to start it at 6 so the, I mean, the, while we are on the road, the, the chat might be a moving target uh, in that sense. Um, and uh, usually, the YouTube notification uh, tells you what time we're gonna start. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep it consistent at 4 p.m. Uh, my time now, <laughs> 6 p.m. Eastern. But uh, yeah, thank you, Chase Bauman, for that super chat. Thank you so much. And yeah, I think I'm going to start wrapping it up. Thank you, Mikey. I do have fun. Uh, thank you, uh, Mikey Barbie. And we'll be back much talking in, a, in a, about a month or so, maybe. So, <laughs> Rebecca, you inspired us to travel in our... You inspired me to travel in our trailer again. Well, enjoy. And Texas Gal, don't forget to give Roberts a thumbs up. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, according to this, 183 thumbs up, and for some reason there's a thumbs down. I don't know who would do that, but anyway, thank you so much. Oh, hold on, <clears throat> hold on, because we have one more super sticker. Thank you, Jacqueline Gardner, lemon character, taking his sunglasses off. Thank you. Uh, we're going to start wrapping it up. It is wet out there, but... It is uh, much better weather right now. Actually, in fact, we have a little tiny bit of blue sky because that's that's how it works around here. Uh, I hope you all have a, a great uh, Independence Day weekend. To all our Canadian friends north of the border, happy Canada Day. Oh, Canada! And, uh, and I'll see you next Friday, which happens to be my birthday. Are we going to have a cake here on the live stream? Well, you're going to have to tune in to find out. Thank you for being here, because I'm riding, 
riding in my RV whenever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Have a great weekend. See you next Friday. Probably from around this same area. Bye, everybody. Be well.